What I'd like to do today is show you how you know, we at RIM approach these apps, how we work with Twitter and eBay uh, to bring these super apps to the BlackBerry smartphone platform, and how the BlackBerry platform allows us to transform the experiences of Twitter and eBay users uh, on our platform. So when you think about uh, Twitter, I and mean, I don't have to tell you this, but I mean, it's literally taken the world by storm uh, over the last couple of years. You've got this, this massive connected community uh, sharing on any topic, any time, all over the world. And, and when you think about the value that that community provides, that, that experience provides, it's really about uh, you know, the users participating in that, both, both sharing, both joining the conversation, about providing their opinions, their ideas. I mean, the value of that community is driven by the ability for its participants to contribute. And this conversation is going on in real time. It's viral, it's spreading, it's morphing, it's fragmenting, it's coming back together. And if you think about how you approach that, how you attach yourself to that experience when you're sitting behind a PC, you're, you're a little bit deluded in terms of the way you can immerse yourself. There are going to be points in time during the day where it's either inconvenient uh, or impossible for you to connect. You think about if you're sitting at home or, dare I say, sitting at work. Uh, these may be times when you can be connected to it. So you move around, you get out of you go about your daily business, you step back, you step out of that immersion. So when we're, we thought about how are we going to evolve and morph this experience and transform this experience on BlackBerry, you know, when you have Twitter, on your hip, we thought about convenience, about how we drive that experience, about how, you know, when you're connected all the time, how you want to consume that content. And uh, we talked about, we thought about integrating that directly into the core experience on the device, just as Tyler said. So you don't feel like you're you're jumping into the Twitter application. You feel like you're connected, and that that community is part of your experience on the device wherever you are on the device. So let me show you what I mean. So first of all, uh, we, we you know, thought it had to be absolutely simple to be able to contribute and share. We wanted this to be completely embedded in the core function of the device. You know, no need to launch the Twitter application per se to tweet or to direct message uh, you know, your, your community. Uh, so the entry points really have to be intuitive. And you can see here we have, uh, we have Twitter experience completely integrated right in your inbox, in your message list. Message list. You have the, the tweet dialog as you jump to the menu. Uh, you know, one click brings that dialog right up so the UI layers over the inbox experience and allows you to tweet or direct message directly from there. So, you know, something pops into your head, you respond, immediately jump back. And if you're getting your notifications of, of, of you know, threads that you're following, or channels you're watching, uh, coming in also to your inbox, it gives you a perfect opportunity to contribute, to jump back in, in context, and contribute to that community. So the next thing, when you think about, uh, you know, putting your, your ideas and thoughts out there, I mean, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. In the case where you have one of your employees in a pink sombrero, I think maybe even two thousand words. Uh, but, you know, this is something, it's an example of something that when you have device on your hip at this kind of experience, you, you don't have the same uh, the same experience in front of a PC. I mean, I never I never catch Tim wearing a pink sombrero when I'm sitting at home in front of my uh, my PC. So we've really enhanced the user experience by giving them the ability to to grab things, moments that are happening around them, and push them back to the community. But we're also enhancing the community because now content is being driven into that environment that otherwise you know wouldn't wouldn't be there. And it, again, it just reinforces the whole real-time aspect of being able to, to really connect with your environment, wherever you are, and put it out there on the community. So another, another interesting point of integration that, uh, that we looked at and we've implemented here is direct tweeting of app recommendations from within App World. So basically, you can, you can go and to your community, to your followers, you can tweet uh, and post a context enable the link to download an application. So if there's something, you know, a multiplayer game that you want to engage with your friends uh, and followers to, uh, to join so you can play with them, or if it's a, it's a theme that you think that they're going to love, 
you know, one click, you have here the dialog uh, asking you to share, giving the options to share, and right there at the top you have, you have Twitter, so you can tweet your app recommendations straight from, straight from Apple. I want to I make it clear that all of these integrations that we're talking about, uh, all of the enablers that Tyler talked about, these are completely open and available to all of our third parties. So when I'm talking about Twitter, you should be thinking, okay, this is this is in Twitter. This is this is my experience. This is my vision, deeply integrated into the BlackBerry platform. Because that really is what's going to drive that next wave of innovation. So I'm talking a lot about how the user of the Twitter app is sharing with the community, but I think you know part of the whole real-time multi-communication aspect of, of the community that's so powerful is is to be connected back so that. You have event-driven notifications of things that you are interested in in the community. So people that you're following, channels that you're following, tweets that you may want to respond to. And all of this is really enabled and empowered uh, by the power of the BlackBerry infrastructure and by the multitasking uh, operating system on the device. So we, we basically give you real-time Twitter notifications directly in your inbox, directly on your home screen, or what we call a ribbon. Uh, so then you can immediately respond to those and jump into the, to the app experience. So you can see that we, we transition seamlessly from the experience uh, you know, in your inbox or on the device, you get the notification, to directly into the, the, the Twitter UI, if that content made beautiful for you in the context that you, uh, that you want. And what this allows you to do is, you know, it's transforming the experience from the user's perspective, but you can think about it from the point of view of the content and service provider, uh, it's completely transforming their relationship with their audience. So it's not like you know, when you're at a PC and you don't know the next time your, you know, your user is going to sit down and is going to log in. You have effectively a connection to that audience wherever they are anytime. So you can reach out and delight them with content, with service, uh, with an alert, uh, wherever they are. And the infrastructure uh, that we talked about, the, the network operating environment, and the ability for the applications to run in the background means we can do that in a very efficient way. We can do that in a way that does not stress or strain the network and does not stress or strain the resources on the device. And all of this is completely integrated in the experience. So another very cool point of, of integration that we, uh, that we put together here was completely integrating in the form of text patterns you know, within applications on the device. So using the standard format for you know, hashtags, for, uh, for, uh, for trending topics, uh, for channels, uh, or for, for Twitter users, following these conventions, you can see here you have a piece of text in an email, or in a calendar appointment, uh, or in an instant message. Uh, as soon as you, you move over that text, because the Twitter app is effectively running in the background and is registered for those text patterns, it can insert a menu item into the menu so that the user can jump immediately from that, that link, it becomes an active hyperlink, to take them directly in context into the application with that, with that piece, of, uh, piece of content. So, you know, once again, it brings the context into the interaction, and allows you to seamlessly flow from one experience to the next without ever launching the Twitter application. It's all part of the native experience. So the final thing I want to talk about with, with Twitter is, uh, is how we brought location awareness into the experience. And I think we're really starting to see a point where you know, location is, is becoming you know, the key, a key element of mobile context. Clearly, this is not something, or it's, it's a completely different paradigm, your, your presence of location information when you're mobile from when you're stationary. And we're seeing that start to be used beyond just mapping and navigation. We're seeing it used in all kinds of contexts, in terms of contributing back to communities, in terms of social context, in terms of you know being able to subscribe to and be aware of what's around you. So when we, we thought about you know what did this mean, what would location do for, for Twitter, uh, a couple of things came to mind. One of them was to make sure in search that you had the ability to very easily narrow that search to the location around where you are currently. Uh, we also thought about being able to easily and seamlessly contribute with your location back to the community. So once again, it's, it's this added value to the community powering and driving from, from the device. So hopefully this gives you some, some vision into, you know, makes it more concrete some of the concepts Tyler talked about, of you know, how we approach Twitter, for example, 
and really created a super app out of this and embedded it completely in the device experience. 